फेमस केस है इस दैट ट्रेडिशन क्रिएट्स इंडिविजुअल थियरी ऑफ एक पर्सनालिटी एंड पास्ट दिस इज दैट ट्रेडिशन कैन एयर इन कंपेयर्स द माइंड ऑफ द पोइट एंड टीएस एरियस इट इज अ थिंग इज हियर Poetry is not the turning loose of emotion, but an escape from emotion. It is not the expression of personality, but an escape from personality. Yes, friends, this is very famous quotation of T. S. Eliot, which he wrote in Tradition and Individual Talent. Welcome to this channel. You are with AJ. Today, we are going to discuss about Tradition and Individual Talent, written by. Thomas Stearns Eliot. Before discussing about the tradition and individual talent, let's know something about T. S. Eliot, whose life span is 1888 to 1965. Friends, T. S. Eliot is a prominent figure of the modern era, and he is also known as the Matthew Arnold of 20th century he is cultural critic poet as well as a dramatist his famous works like wasteland hollow man of course a very famous drama murder in the cathedral okay friends let's talk about the individual talent here he famously says that tradition creates individual talent individual talent does not create tradition for what he has divided this work into three parts this work published in 1919 in the egoist and 1920 in the sacred book it is the first work of criticism by t s eliot Friends, this work has divided into three parts by T. S. Eliot, in which the first part is the concept of tradition, the second part theory of impersonality, and the third part is the conclusion. Well, if we talk about the first part, the concept of tradition, here he famously says that it is. not the slightest invitation of past he says that tradition cannot be inherited it can be obtained by hard work and the person who has great historical sense can get this easily here very famous quotation of pierce eliot past should be altered by the present as much as the present is directed by the past in second part of this work it talks about theory of impersonality he says that the mind of the poet is the spread of the platinum here he compares the mind of the poet to catalyst he says poet should avoid the personal emotion as he says poetry is not the turning loose of emotion but an escape from emotion it is not the expression of personality but an escape from personality it is directly in reaction of wordsworth's subjective criticism and t s eliot's criticism is known as objective criticism you must know about it friends later in third part conclusion he says that the focus should be shifted from the poet to the poetry his famous quotation like the immature poet imitates and the mature poet 
स्टेज वन मोर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज हेयर टी एस के लिए रिजेक्ट द कंपेरिजन मैथड ऑफ मैथ्यू एलॉन बिकॉज द कंटेक्स इज डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट एजेस थैंक यू वेरी मच लेट्स रिवाइज वट वी हैव लर्न फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर the author of the essay ts eliot is known as the matthew arnold of 20th century the essay was published in 1919 in a literary magazine the egoist it has three parts the first part is conception of tradition the second part is theory of impersonality of poetry and the third part is in its view in early two parts or conclusion in the second chapter eliot compares the mind of the poet to a catalyst now focus on some more points what is tradition according to eliot tradition is not following the ways of the ancients blindly are not a blind adherence to the ways of the previous generations tradition involves a historical sense which enables a poet to perceive not only the pastness of the past but its presentness according to him the personality of the artist is not important the important thing is the sense of tradition he also says tradition is the means by which the vitality of the past and which is the life of the present here in the essay elliot disproves theory of wordsworth where wordsworth regards poetry as passion and emotion which he again modifies by his description of the poetic process as recollection in tranquility eliot says that poetry is neither emotion nor recollection and nor tranquility according to him the progress of an artist is a continual self sacrifice a continual extinction of personality it is in this depersonalization that art must be said to approach the condition of science that's all dear learners thank you for staying with us please don't forget to share and subscribe our channel bye bye